Hi everyone, in this video, let's have a look at the mobile version of Fedina. Now let me log in to my accounts panel using the username and Once I've logged in, I'm going to select the option schools and under the plugins of my school, I get to see the list of plugins that I've enabled. And here, I'm going to enable the mobile plugin as well. This mobile plugin will enable my school domain or URL to be used in a mobile or tablets. I can get my domain name or URL by going for domain and this is the domain name. Using this domain, all the users in my institution can log in into the instance. And in the mobile version, by using this domain, they can log in into the instance using the username and password. So now let me show you a few screenshots of the mobile. So this is how a login instance will look like when you're using the URL. And using the username and password, you're going to log in. Let me now log in as an admin. And once I log in as an admin, I get to see the messages, calendar and attendance. By selecting the messages option, I get to see all the internal notifications. This is an example of the list of messages. And by selecting one of the messages, you get to see the detail, the subject about it and the detailed information. Let it be an event. In the case of it's an event, you get to see the start time, end time and the subject of the event. The next option that you have here is the calendar where you get to see about any event that is upcoming or an examination or any holiday that is coming up. The next option that we have is the attendance. The admin can mark attendance for students by going for attendance option where they select the name of the student, they select the date, they select the session of absence of the student. Is it both forenoon or afternoon or any one of it? I can enter reason if the absence and mark as absent. So that's how a admin can log in into Fedina. Now let's see how a teacher can log in into Fedina. So once a teacher logs in using the username and password, this is how a teacher's login would look like. You will view the messages, calendar, attendance, timetable and leave application. By selecting the messages, you get to see the all the internal messages, the reminders about event, the reminder about tasks, form and examinations. So these are the reminders or internal notification that any teacher would receive. On selecting this particular message, they get to see the details about the message here. Just like an admin, even the employee gets to see the internal messages. The next option that you have is a calendar. The employee or the teacher get to see the calendar with the events that is upcoming. And the next option is the attendance. So the teacher gets to mark attendance for the students by selecting the name of the student, selecting the session of absence and uh, entering a reason. The next option that we have is the timetable. Here the employee gets to view the teacher's timetable. By selecting today's day, you get to see the classes that the teacher has for today's date. You get to see the date, class and the subject they need to take class for. The next option that is there is the leave application. Under leave application, you can select a duration and you can select a date, you can select a leave type and provide a reason and submit and apply for a leave. So that's how a teacher or an employee would apply for a leave. So that's all about how a teacher can log in into Fedina and view Fedina in the mobile version. The next user we are going to see is the students. This is how the login page looks like and the student enters the username and password and logs in. And once the student logs in, the student gets to see the messages, calendar, timetable, attendance report and fees. So here it shows a short notice about the unpaid fees and they have the option to pay online from here. 
By going for messages, they get to see the list of messages that they've received from the employee or the admin or about any event or any reminder or notification about fees and examination. So by selecting any of these messages, they get to see more detailed information about it. The next thing that we have is the calendar. Again, for the calendar, the student's calendar will show the events that is coming up, which will include examination, holiday, fees dues, library dues. So by going for the timetable option, they get to see the timetable for the today's date. They can see the classes they need to attend for today's date, by what time the class starts and what time does the class end, who are the employees who have been assigned and what is the subject they need to take class for. So these are the information that gets displayed from the timetable. And the next option that we have is the attendance report. So here under attendance report, the student gets to view the attendance report for them. So here you get to see the percentage of attendance, the total number of classes, the absence, and the number of days they've applied leave for. You can see the reason that they've provided there and the dates in which they've applied leave. The next thing that we have is the fees. For the students and the parents, the fees that they need to pay for are sent as notifications. So these internal notifications would be seen under messages, whereas there are external notifications to the email ID of the student and the parent. And you can view these. We can view these in our mobile phones or tablets. And from there, you can have a link to the fee structure. So this is how the link would look like. Using the mail, you can select the link to view the fee. And you can use the username of the student to log in with the password, wherein you will be able to pay the fee in the mobile or the tablet. Here you can see by going for the option fees, the list of fees that is paid and the list of fees that is unpaid. You can see the name of the fee, you can see the due date, you can also see the amount they need to pay. On selecting this particular fee collection, you can see the detailed information about the particulars, the amount of fee, discount and fine, just like how you used to view in the Fedina instance. It also shows a remark as not paid and below you find the option to pay the fee. By selecting pay fee option, the students and the parents get to pay the fee online using the mobile. Now it takes to the payment gateway option and there you can pay it with card and entering the card details you can pay the amount. So this is how online payment has been enabled for students and parents using the mobile version. And for all the four users, admin, teacher, students and parents, there is a new option called Forgot Password. So while logging in using a mobile version, they can also use Forgot Password in case they don't remember the password and they can enter the username and by entering the username, they will be provided with a link to reset the password to their email. So that's all about student login. Let's move to the parent login. And under parent login, this is how the parent login is going to look like. The parent gets to view the messages, calendar, timetable, attendance report and fees. Just like how a student can view it. So by selecting this particular student, by selecting the particular child of the parent they get to view the details for this particular child and on selecting the messages they get to see the reminders and notification regarding the student and on selecting the messages they get to see the detailed information about it and the next option that we have is the calendar and on the calendar they see the events that is marked as important let's say the break even displays the due be it the fees due or library due it gets to display it here and the next thing that we have is the timetable. The students also get the view of the timetable and the parents also get to view the timetable of the students. They get to see the teachers assigned, the subject and the time duration for which the classes will happen. 
The next option that we have is the attendance report. So by going for attendance report, the a parent get to view the child's attendance percentage in the school. They get to see the percentage, the number of days they've taken leave for and the reason for the absence. The final option that we have under parents is the fee. Just like how a student could view their fee and go for the option pay and they could pay it online, the students also have the option to pay it in the mobile version. So that's all about the mobile version in Fadina. Thanks for listening.